This month's tool is going to be about the icon of the woodworker, the hammer. Now hammer is primarily used in construction of woodworking, but so in furniture making you don't use it too often. Once in a while you'd need it though. These are your more standard hammers right here. One's a curved claw, one's pretty much of a straight claw, one's heavier, and one's a little bit lighter. So the, the, the heaviness or the lightness will depend on the person that's using it, what they like to use. The curvature of the claw primarily is used for pulling out nails. And with the curved claw, it's gonna be easier than with a straight claw. Straight claw often can be almost used in rough work like an ax. And then here's another even a little smaller tack hammer could be used. Now this one is for, um, this is used for in upholstering furniture primarily or putting small tacks into furniture. It's magnetic on this end and so by putting your tack right there it'll stay while you drive it into your um, work. And as soon as you just barely begin to drive it into your work you turn it on this side and finish it. This is your sledgehammer. If you really need to get some um, weight into whatever you're pounding, this will do it. This one I don't think they even really make anymore. Nowadays, what they make one like similar to this, but they make it out of rubber, a rubber mallet. And this particular one is leather. And the purpose of a leather mallet or a rubber mallet compared to your standard hammer is for this reason. If when using a piece of finished wood you needed to maybe join two together or you needed to tap it in place, if you were to use your standard hammer to do your tapping, you'd have a big welt right there in your wood. Whereas if you use your rubber mallet or in this case a leather mallet, you can pound as hard as you want and it won't put any dents in your wood. So primarily for pounding on finished work where you want to make sure there's no dents. So this is our little lesson on hammers. Now you probably noticed there's one slot here where a hammer is missing. Now this is the hammer. Mark, this is the chisel. Hold it, would you? And we'll give it a try.